UFO, let it roll. This is a CBT guitar lesson for Paul, basically kind of a part two, because um, I didn't know you wanted the lead fillers. So you've got the whole whole thing going here, man, and exciting riffs. Um, try to pay close attention to the pick direction. I think that's going to be kind of key with this stuff. If you're not feeling it and it's not coming together, you obviously can, can change it, but this is, for the most part, how I think he's picking it. To make some of these riffs you know have the speed that they need I, I think it's important so the first one comes in at 44 seconds we're in standard tuning and we're starting off 8g third finger you want to back that uh, with the middle finger and we're gonna end up bending that a whole step and then upstroke the 6e and then downstroke the 9b pulling off to the 6 so that gives you this Okay, then 8G, we're going to bend, release, pull off to 6. That's a whole step. Remember, a whole step, two frets, right? So we're bending this to this. That gives you... And then he quickly jumps to 11G. Same concept. Third finger, back it. You're going to bend the 11G. We're going to pick down down on 9B, up on 9E, so 12B, downstroke, whole step bend, vibrato. Let me notate that downstroke there. So the basic idea, Paul, is you're kind of picking in the direction of the next string for a big part of this. got to shut that off okay um, the next one comes in at 47 seconds it's 14th fret on the B string third finger I would actually back it with two fingers here's why what he's doing is a, a step and a half bend rest release so you're bending at three frets that's the note we need so you'll go and then um, one two three four four more of them without releases and the next one was like kind of like the first one uh, bend release but a pull off to 12 so it's and then 14 12 B down up vibrato slide so alright continue on 11 G third finger. So you're going to see a lot of similar riffs taken out of the pattern one minor pentatonic scale. Now this is cool. It's one of my first little riffs I learned uh, from Matthias Jav from Scorpions, which is a, another very similar player. Um, he goes, I'll do it kind of mo moderate tempo. So it's interesting. He bends the 11G. It's got kind of a rest though, or you're going to hold for, for a second. And then up the 9E, down the 12B, pull off the 9. And then you're going to do that two more times without the rest after the bend. So in essence, you get this. You know what I mean? So you got. And then this cool run. 11.99, GBB, down, up, down. And 11D, up, down, vibrato. So. Paul subgroup these, man. Take, take even just that ending. And get used to it. Alright, 52 seconds in. Um, start with an upstroke. This is alternate pick. At first, I was thinking they were all downs. Um, but um, I do believe the it, it's alternate picking, but starting with an upstroke. 9D. And then on the A, 11, 10, 9, 7. 9 E, slide. So. so we have. Oops. 
and then 53 seconds you don't have to do this this is a natural thing that kind of happens but Shinker hits a few opens open D G and B it's definitely not like a thing he wanted to stand out you can hear like a it's just those things that happen but I try to get all the little heavy things that are in there that'll lead you right into an 11 G bend and then 912 B up down shift that pinky up to 12 G with an up so that gives you doing that six note minor pentatonic thing 11 pull 9 on the G and then 11 on the D 11 on the G that's down up 9 G half step bend that's a one fret bend so and then so I'm thinking about the picking I wrote here uh, um, you can experiment with the picking on this because um, after that bend I've got 11 9 on the on the D um, if the down up's not working go with up down just reverse that 10, 9, 8. I love that contrast between the so to 8A. So 10, 9, 8. 9D slide to 11. Vibrato slide. So you got switch out the pick directions after that ninth fret G string half step bend which I didn't put a pick direction I'm going to now though um, and then I'll draw an arrow pointing to the down stroke you may want to swap those to up down up down up you know um, and that's it for that then at the end of the song you know in your first CBT lesson we had that uh, I don't know if I'm gonna remember this correctly but it was like a <laughs> It was something along those lines. Um, um, so he goes through that. I'm, we're just going to call that one of the uh, one of the melody hooks, and then he ends it at 350 50 with this killer thing. Oops. Okay, it's alternate pick starting with the downstroke 7 8 B 9 G 7 B on the G string goes 7 9 and to me that's that's the first part of the hook it's a six note riff and then he continues it on you know just different notes um, 5 7 4 5 on the G and I like to go index third index second you could start with the middle but I just, I'm liking the index there. And then 7D, 4G. And then same thing actually, but now we'll start with the middle. On the D string, 5, 7, 4, 5. And then 7A, 4D. So in, in, essence, in essence, you really got, but my fingering is. And then the toughest one, lower your thumb for the stretch here. And on the A string, we're going to go 5, 7, 3, 5. I go middle pinky, index middle. 7, E, 3, A. And then 5, 7, E, D. That's a D5 power chord twice. That's the end of the song. So the whole thing, I'll do a little slower. And it's cool because you know the notes kind of walk into each other. You know your basic outline is. Um, you know that's kind of the scale. Um, and then up to speed. 
All right, dude. Anytime you want some more Michael Schenker, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm a big fan of Matias from the Scores, but those two are both very similar. But uh, hit me up. I had a blast doing the Schenker for you. And uh, take care, Paul. Thanks again.